And on this week's fishing tips, Ray Gildow of the Nestle Guides League and Mandy Urich, the bassing biologist, show us a different way to hook some of your favorite fish. Tonight we're going to talk about a different technique for bass, walleyes, northern sunfish, you can really name it. It's not a technique that's new, it's been around for a while. It's called a drop shot. And we're going to teach you tonight how to drop shot fish. We're going to first of all show you how a drop shot looks. And I took the opportunity to rig this up a little earlier. But basically, just roughly to show you, you take a line and you first of all tie your hook to the line and you leave enough room. And I've got about a little longer maybe than necessary. I've got about a foot and a half. But you see at the bottom of this line is my sinker. And I've used a weedless sinker because it goes through the weeds much easier than some of the bell sinkers. You can also buy drop shot sinkers and you can buy drop shot hooks that are already set up for you to, to use so you don't have to tie them. But what I've got is a weight on the bottom. I've got a palomar knot so that my hook stands out to the side. And that's really important. And there's a number of different ways you can tie knots to make that stand out. And I would not use a hook this big. I'm just using it this large for demonstration purposes. So what I do is I, I like to use plastic baits and I put them on that little hook. In this case, it looks like a little perch, like that. But that's all there is to it. So you've got a, a weight on the bottom. You've got a, a hook that's tied up that stands out vertically or horizontally. It, it'll lay down and it catches everything. This is absolutely one of my favorite techniques for smallmouth fishing. Um, the drop shot's very versatile. You can either vertically jig these where you're dropping right down on top of them and having this bait fairly still and just moving it a little bit, or you can actually cast it out and slowly retrieve it back and pop it along the way. And that way you're always, you can kind of feel that weight on the bottom bouncing so you know where you're at in proximity to the water column. It's super sensitive. Um, I like to run these on uh, spinning gear, so anywhere from a, a 7.3 to a 7.6 rod with a, a spinning reel action. And like Bray said, you can fish just about anything with these. You're just readjusting your size of your hook and your weight for the species that you're going after. I'm Ray Gilwell with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Andy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.